What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be going over your chances of getting apricorn balls from the Cramomatic in Pokemon Sword and Shield's Isle of Armor. The the main reason I did this video is cuz every once in a while on Twitter you'll see someone get a rare ball and when you try you don't. So I wanted to find the exact numbers, the exact percentages of you using apricorns and getting rare balls. Because on Cerebi and other sites, it just says the color, but not the percents. I did a lot of testing. This is about 28 hours of testing to find these numbers. And I'm going to share my findings with you. I'm sure you're all familiar with the Cramomatic. It's located in the Isle of Armor inside of the dojo. It's right on the right hand side. You talk to the kid once, you give it a little bit of watts, and boom, you can put apricots in. Have I been saying apricots? Apricorns. Oh, I always got those two words mixed up. I don't know why. So first of all, the Cramomatic has a lot of really useful combinations. Like if you put in three tiny mushrooms and any other item, you get a big mushroom. If you put in three nuggets and any other item, you get a big nugget. If you put in three star pieces and any item, you get a comet shard. If you put in three rare candies and any item, you get an ability capsule. If you put in three bottle caps and any item, you get a gold bottle cap. So those are some great combinations for you to make other things with. And then there's a whole system based on an item's weight and the type of item categorized into Pokemon types. There's a whole read up on Cerebi if you're looking for a specific item like a flame orb or something. I'm more or less going to be focusing only on the Apricorn Balls. That is what we are going after, only the Apricorn Balls, okay? And essentially, there's a whole bunch of balls that you can get from this. You can get regular Poke Grade and Ultra Balls. You can get the Special Balls, like the Quick Balls, the Repeat Balls, the Luxury Balls. You could also get the Apricorn Balls, also called the Kurt Balls, also called the Johto Balls. I'm going to be referring to them as Apricorn Balls for the sake of this video. Now, for all you youngins out there, in generation two, there was a man named Kurt who could turn Apricorns into special Pokeballs, right? That being the Heavy Ball, the Lure Ball, the Friend Ball, Love Ball, Level Ball, Fast Ball, Moon Ball. And then throughout the generations, there were new balls introduced, including the Dream Ball, which was in Generation 5 for Pokemon transferred from Pokemon Dream Radar. The Beast Ball, which was purchasable in Sun Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, that works on Ultra Beasts, and anything that's not an Ultra Beast to work 10 times less effectively than a Pokeball. The Sport Ball was from Johto to catch wild Pokemon during a bug catching contest has never been available outside of that one specific thing. And lastly was the Safari Ball, which was in Kanto for catching Pokemon from the Safari, has not been available outside of that, right? The Dream Ball and the Beast Ball, in addition to the Apricorn Balls, were gifts from the Ball Guy throughout Pokemon Sword and Shield, and farmable only after beating the Champion's Cup several times in a day. And the Isle of Armor's Cramomatic has a unique lottery that features the recycling Apricorns into Pokeballs. And with extensive research on this, I figured out these drop rates, and I'm going to share them with you. My first test was my organic test, as I called it. I went around and gathered 100 apricorns of each color, and it was mixed results everywhere. Had no idea what was going on. That's probably, like, exactly where you are. You put in some things, you have no idea what's coming out, right? It's also worth mentioning that while you're going around, you're gonna find a girl who's standing around random places, and she will either have, for 100 watts, and a Pokedex entry for you, or if you completed the Pokedex, she sells you four Apricorns at 100 watts. But during my early findings of this organic test, I found the five times multiplier, which means that there's a chance that the Cramomatic is going to spit out five items instead of one. I have no idea the rate of that. So my biggest problem is I needed a bigger sample size, and since the game saves before each attempt, the only option was to use a custom firmware switch with checkpoint that allows me to back up to a previous save. I don't really like playing on it, but I do this for testing purposes, otherwise these numbers would be impossible to calculate. So test number two, I used 1,000 red apricorns, which is 250 Cramomatic goes, right? And I found some really interesting and consistent numbers, most important part being the consistent part, right? 
22% of the balls were Pokeballs, 22% were Great Balls, 27% were Ultra Balls, 27% were the Repeat Ball, which is one of the unique balls, right? And 1.2% were the Level Balls, an Apricorn Ball. Probably the least exciting out of all the Apricorn Balls, right? So out of 250 goes at the Cram-O-Matic, I only got three level balls. By the way, when you do get yourself an Apricorn Ball, there is a special sound and a shiny glow that happens as it's coming out. It's just a cool little thing, and then afterward, Hyde has a little short cutscene telling you about his run-in with presumably Kurt from Johto, who taught him about it. But Hyde wasn't able to recreate the process, and that explains why you get bad balls instead of good balls. During this test, there was also one occurrence of the five times Cramomatic reward. So I have a rough percent at how often that happens, but I need a bigger sample size and I'm going to talk more about that later. Test two was 1000 blue Apricorns for 250 Pokeballs. So the same size test as the first one, but instead of the red, now we're doing the blues. And my Pokeballs and Great Balls were about the same. So you can assume that you're always going to get 25% Pokeballs, 25% Great Balls. Now, I also got net balls and dive balls, which are special balls, and those occupied about 25% as well, which I'm going to assume that, you know, we had for the red, repeat balls, and then for the blue, we have lure balls, but we also have dive balls, so the dive balls replace ultra balls. So 25% Pokeball, 25% Great Ball, 25% Net Ball, 25% Dive Ball. I'm generally rounding here. And 1.2% again for the Lure Balls. It was also 202 goes until the first Lure Ball came out. So it being consistent with a 1% chance to happen, absolutely. Again, it's a chance, it's not guaranteed. Could take you one try, 100 tries for even odds, 200 tries for double odds, right? But those tests were just doing one color. I wanted to find out what happens when you do multiple colors. So I did a test of doing two red and two blue for a total of 500 balls, and the numbers were really interesting. If I take all of the balls that I got from red and all the balls that I got from blue, and I cut those numbers in half and I put them together, that's exactly the numbers of doing two red, two blue. So it pulls from the pools consistent to their color of apricorn used in the Cramomatic, which is insane. And just to further prove that, I did one red and three blue, and I got consistent numbers with that. And then I did three red and one blue, and I got consistent numbers with that all across the board. Now, the weird part here is there's supposedly reports of getting safari balls and sport balls, which have never been obtainable outside of their specific intentions in their original games, right? So I did some extreme testing, 4,000 apricorns of pink, 25% pokeballs, 25% great, 25% ultra, 25% heal, 1% love, exact numbers that we've always seen. However, I got one Safari Ball, one, which came out to a 0.1% chance. So if you did a hundred, you had a tenth of 1%. If you did a thousand, you had a, a, a chance at having one. When I say a thousand, I mean 4,000 Apricorns, which is more insane than anyone could actually expect to farm for. So like, what's the purpose of all this? That, you know, there's a random one out of a thousand chance that you're gonna be able to do this and farming the process is grueling. However, I was able to calculate the five times rewards for the Cramomatic, and it's been consistent that there's a 1% chance. So there's a 1% chance of getting an Apricorn Ball, a 1% chance of getting a Cramomatic five ball bonus, and a tenth of a percent chance at getting a Safari or Sport Ball. And just to further prove those numbers, I did 4,000 Black Apricorns. And I got 25% Poke, 25% Great, 25% Dusk, 25% Luxury, 1% Heavy, and 0.1% Safari Balls. So then I went crazy, and I did one black, one pink, one red, and one blue. Just a real varied number here. And if I took all those individual numbers, chopped them by a quarter, combined them all together, it's consistent with these numbers. 
And this was the first time that I got myself a sport ball at 0.1%. So there was a huge pool of Poke Great Ultra Heel Net Dive Dusk Repeat Luxury Level Heavy Love and Sport. And again, consistent at about 1% for the five times Cramomatic rewards. I mean, I can get into more numbers here. I did 8,000 black and 8,000 yellow and just further prove those same numbers. So the only weird thing here is throughout all of these experiments, I've only received one sport ball and it was from the black, pink, red, blue. And I know that it's not from black. It's not from yellow. It's not from pink so maybe from red or blue or maybe all of the colors just have a tenth of a percent chance to drop that ball that that requires even more testing even even more testing by the way for the testing i've just been using my switch up to automatically click the a button in front of the cramomatic that way it keeps doing the process over and over and then i just note down the results at the end after clearing out all of my inventory so like if i go to my balls now boom two safari balls and this was after 1086 runs to get two safari balls so there's a good chance you will never ever find a safari ball in your life there's a one out of a thousand chance for a safari or a sport and you should treasure that ball do keep in mind that completing a solo non-promoted raid you have a 100 percent chance to catch that pokemon so just for poops and laughs let's head over to this den over here we have ourselves an alakazam so let's go for that let's beat this raid really fast and with alakazam down we can now use the safari ball Granted, you should probably use it on a Pokemon from the Safari Zone, like Scyther, or get yourself a Shiny Scyther or Shiny Scissor or something like that. Although, I don't know the catch rate of this ball, because it hasn't been an available ball forever. So, no idea. Look at that camouflage ball. That's so weird to see. I'm mostly doing this because people wanted to see the animation when you throw the ball out. And I figured, you know, I can I can share that because there's a one out of a thousand chance that you're going to experience it yourself, you know? But here it is. Ooh, that was a that was a big musty coming out of his ball. <laughs> and then let's just see what it looks like when you throw the ball. Oh yeah, the big green mustiness. Boom. A broken out one out of a thousand chance ball. I think that's the biggest struggle here, is that if you do happen to get this ball, there's a chance that the Pokemon breaks out and then just your whole life is just in shambles. But in theory, you can catch that Pokemon, breed it down and boom, you can distribute Alakazams if it's female with a safari ball and then you hatch for a shiny with perfect ivs and boom every single pokemon is now available in every single pokeball except for the starters and porygon and some legendaries and there's some other exceptions but as of dlc 2 i have a feeling a lot of that's going to be capable again don't worry i'm going to reset this game anyways and i'm not going to have these balls and that alakazam because i do these videos for research I don't do these videos for personal gain. This switch means nothing to me other than just math that I can share with you. And that math being this. On screen is all the Pokeballs that you're gonna get for a specific color, your chance of getting them, and your 1% chance at Apricorns, and your 10th of a percent chance at getting yourself the Safari and Sport Balls. Well, great. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.